Okay, we're going to add a filter now. Um, the filter is going to be a wee bit cheesy to start, but again, it's just to show you using keyframes with filters as dead. So, when it gets the candles, I want to add a filter just to change the colours. Okay, so but it gets people looking at different different filters just for style as well. I want to put a blade through all of these at the same time, which is where my filters are starting. So you can either go to the tool bench. If you hold the mouse button down on the blade, you'll get a double blade, which will cut through all the tracks. Won't cut through our audio because I've got them padlocked off. Okay, shortcut for that is just BB rather than B. So now um, I'm going to double click this track here, so we'll start top left. And I want to add, we're going to change the colors, so we'll add, go into the color correction menu and RGB balance, which is quite useful for certain things. So if we use that one instead of a color corrector or something like that. Go into the filters here, so it splits into the red, greens, and blues of every shot. So, right, we're just, I'm just going to do a very cheesy, obvious one here. So we're going to have the left one towards the reds, towards the greens, towards the blues as we go along. So let's just bring the reds up on here. We can bring the reds to the mid-tones. It's very obvious. See there, if I pull the blacks up uh, into the reds, it's going to affect the mask as well, the matte background. So I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to leave that where it stands on a default there. So there's the red one. So we'll now make the green one and the blue one. So double click the next track. Instead of having to go all the way through the filters, you can see the last filter we used is at the top of our effects menu there. So RGB balance, it appears in our filters here. And this one, just go for the greens then. If you've um, forgot to white balance your shot, you could use an RGB balance. For instance, you'd shot indoors, but you'd left it on a daylight setting. On the white balance, you'd get a lot of blue in, so you could try and pull the blues out in this filter. I usually use the color correctors, um, but everyone just, just try their own things. Again, the last clip, back into the effects, and this time we're just going for the blues. So you can see as well, you can get nice subtle effects as opposed to obvious, obvious different colors, which wouldn't work in anything other than perhaps an 80s music video. So obvious colors there, but now... We're now going to keyframe a filter so that the filter slowly vanishes from the clip as opposed to just appearing like it did there. Okay, so use your arrows. We want to move to after the roof comes off the church. Go to the first frame of Gary Lewis with his Christ-like pose. And let's do another double blade there. And we're going to move to we're going to cut to one shot. So I'll take the green one because that's my colour. So highlight and delete the shots we don't need. This here, I want it to be full screen, so straight into the motion, change to 100. Already the center points are correct, so there we are in the middle of the screen. In the filters, I'm going to keyframe that color out. It's going to be hard to see by eye, but it will be subtle. And again, rather than just keyframe the color out, I'm going to have it so it matches the motion of the papers blowing in, so actually the viewer is watching the actual film. So if we go to about there, as these, these two pieces of paper are coming in. That's my second keyframe. And this is the green one here, so I affected the midtones and the highlights. So I know that at that point, I want those highlights and midtones to vanish, okay? So that's that point. If I now move back to the start of the clip, that is my first hinge, so that's when I want the colors to start changing back to normal. Use the dark arrows, go to the second clip again, and here I can see from my blues and my reds that the the proper digits here for a, a defaulted clean clip is 255 and 100. So I will change them, 255, 100. And you can see that's back to the original clip. Play that through, the uh, filter should slowly dissipate. Okay, so you can hardly see it's happening, but it's this nice subtle effect, I believe.